What's up, tubers? Welcome back to the channel. As you saw from the thumbnail, I got all of this for $60. Uh, Facey Tweet Marketplace score. Um, most all of them are complete. The little bits that aren't there are nominal. Can be found in my parts box uh, with, without any problem. Some of them have been somewhat started. Uh, they'll need a, a trip across the frozen tundra and a dip in the purple bath freezer purple power uh and it really shouldn't be that hard to bring it back into a ready to build state so i'm gonna push in with the camera a little bit and go through each one real quick and show you what we got it started with this one uh i was casually browsing facebook marketplace and saw I had a bunch of models listed, you know, pictures uh, for sale, and this one kind of jumped out at me. I'm like, oh, neat. I've never seen that version of the S10 before. Uh, I hit him up, contacted him, and he said that because it was, you know, open and out of its bag, it was 10 bucks. I'm like, oh, okay, sold. And uh, I'd like to look at the other ones that you have when I'm there. So when I got there, he had a a whole bunch laid out uh and the ones that you saw in the thumbnail are the six boxes that i chose he said he's got plenty more to clear out a storage unit and th this was just all he could carry so i dug through a bunch and looked and saw what what i like what jumped out of me and asked if he'd give me a bundle deal he said sixty dollars i absolutely didn't even flinch said okay i'll take it so Gone through these, look, you know, glance at the trees. This one didn't have an instruction manual, but um, it hasn't been glued. Nothing's been glued. <clears throat> Pardon me, glued together or anything. The only thing that I could find that's missing is one mirror. It's missing a driver's side mirror. So I'm going to reach out to round two and see if they can send me a replacement. If not, I'm sure I could find something in my parts box. So, like I said, I went through it, looked, everything's there. It's got a motor. It's got uh, it's got these cool uh, body effects. Again, I've never seen this kit, so that's going to be pretty neat. I'm definitely going to build it up like that. And uh, we'll put this one back in the box and cut away and pull another one in. This, I was looking through one of them, I can't remember which one, I think it was the Impala Coupe. I noticed it didn't have a motor, and he said, oh, well, I've got this, this bag of parts. And I kind of glanced at it, I'm like, huh, okay, well, I'll take it, throw that in on the deal. It's got a, a bunch of motors uh, already assembled, but they look like, these are bigger, these are a bigger scale. A couple neat, uh, what, what is that, four banger? It's just ginormous. Not sure if I'll ever use them. This may or may not come in handy for something. You know, little bits and parts that uh, I may or may not ever use. But you know what? I found you can never have too many parts. So we'll bag these back up and pull out another one. And then after that S10, this is the one that caught my eye. The beat up box. He was kind of. Oh, I don't know. It's beat up. I'm not sure what's in there. So I opened it up and immediately I could see the, the, the bag itself was still sealed. Trying to contain my excitement. Oh my gosh. So, yes, please. I will definitely take this one. You got some, uh, you know, eh, scannable decals, anyways. It's got a neat little sticker there for the trunk, I guess shows uh jack jacking locations i'm not sure where that would go i guess oh oh it does it has an openable trunk neato uh and then all the lowrider stuff you know the battery and the dumps and the chain wheel and the knockoffs and the cool little low, low wheels wheels and tires you know, it's it's complete. It's obviously you can see the whole the main bag is still there, still sealed. So, oh my gosh, yes please. So we'll uh, pull that to the side, and pull in another one. 
go to this uh, DTX that um, you know I can you can see I've kind of labeled everything what it needs purple and looks complete so this one will just need a purple bath and it all looks like it's there it looks like it's complete except for this glorious hand painted oof oof oh my goodness so let's hope that purple power gets rid of that but again you can see the, the bag itself the main bag is it's somewhat sealed you know I kind of went through and did a quick glance of all the parts looks like it's all there it's got some really good decals and as I was digging this one looks almost identical 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 so the other DTX I have and that it has two different door panel door card options so I'm curious I'll, I'll pop the, the other one open and look a little closer but you know other bags are still sealed good to go so put that one in the purple power clean it up uh, same with this one this one um, purple and it needs a block just an engine block which I'll be able to find in my my bag of motors no decals but the body uh, that you can see used up some of the decals those will clean right off in the purple I mean it'll almost instantaneous that or some easy off so I'll try a mixture of both uh, except this will definitely need to uh, get soaked not sure what he used but oof let's hope that comes off of there uh, you know if not I'll just bury it and bury it in primer um, wheels tires um, various engine components like a manifold and belt and fingers and stuff so this one I will have to dig in my engine box to find a, a motor for it but th those are cool wheels it's a neat turbine 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 not to be confused with a turbine that you wear on your head or a turbine that you I, I don't know words this one uh, looks complete all it needs is to go hit the freezer because it's been uh, glued which oh <laughs> you got glue look at these throwbacks some the duster brush or something I'm not sure That's whatever neat uh, plastic model cement pen not sure if it's still any good Ooh, it smells good <laughs> and then this one the non-toxic blue tube uh, I mean I think the Smithsonian might want these back the historic artifacts <laughs> uh, but this one also looks to be complete um, it's already been started almost finished really but I want to put it in the freezer and separate the parts because some of them aren't it just wasn't done very well they're not lined up very good and, you know it's almost impossible to paint details on the motor once it's in there what I do with it I'm not sure but I for sure want to get those covers off and make it an actual truck bed because it's got these neat stake sides oh wood grain so I'm thinking either maybe rat rod or maybe even lift it I don't know so we'll see got these uh, pretty bitchin D window five lug slots cool wheels uh, and then some decals that are definitely scannable I mean they might even be usable with this really cool good guys logo and a good guys license plate cover license plate you don't see those good guys stickers around much anymore so that one's cool I need to hit the freezer and get the parts separated and then another one that's uh, freezer only this cool step side uh, which is I guess that's like the cameo truck but it's a step side I don't know I've never seen this one before um, but again it's gonna need to hit the freezer because it's been glued and uh, he glued the hood shut what the so gonna get the body I mean the, uh, the interior tub separated but going through it it all looks like it's here it's got some really cool tires and wheels some nice thick ones 
I've never seen that before. Wheel backs that, that I have to cut those out, I guess. But it has four wheel backs. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure. So, uh, no instructions. So, I'm kind of on my own on that one. <laughs> but I definitely want to. Uh, get the get the thing in the freezer and get those separated so that I can sand that down a little bit and get rid of some of that goopus that's a, that's another neat one that would probably look really cool lifted or slammed you know or maybe tubbed with some flicks we'll, we'll see but this one's all complete with the motor and everything and the uh, last one we'll look at is the another Impala from my Impala collection I'm a huge Impala fan. But this one, uh, let's see, it's going to need a little bit of attention. All right, purple freezer uh, convertible looks complete. So uh, right away, you can see that the roof has been chopped off, which, uh, you know, that's fine. I put the interior tub in there, and that looks good. You know, boot schmoot. It looks fine. And it's got these opening doors hinged opening doors. I've never seen that built into a kit before. That's really cool. Um, slight uh, purple power bath and this one will also be good to go. I believe it also had some decals. Yes it did. So those will get run through the decal processing mill. They look great. Definitely scannable and saveable. Cool stuff too. Union 76. I've never seen those decal sponsors. So, bitching. Uh, like bumper sticker. I heart model cars. You know. So that uh, is the last one of the of the six. And that about does it for the marketplace score. Um, we'll uh, slide over to the computer and take a look at, at how I how I find them and what what parameters I use to search for them and we'll go from there all right like I said we're going to jump over to the computer here and uh, go to face facey tweets and then we'll go to the marketplace uh, in the search bar type in model kits and then change your delivery method to local pickup and it'll show what's available in your area uh, like you can see, there's uh, these two. He hasn't taken it down yet, but I bought these two, this Porsche and this Miami Vice Daytona, <coughs> for for uh, 15 bucks. I got both of them for 30 dollars for a you know 10 minute drive. And then this one here's the the truck I looked at. Said, oh, what do you take for it? He said, 10 bucks. But okay, I'll be right over. And I'd like to look at the other ones that you have as well. And so I scored all the ones that we just showed you. So. Check your Facey Tweets marketplace, select local pickup, and see what's out there. You never know what you're going to find. So, again, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Next time, we'll, uh, I'm not sure what we'll do, but we're probably going to be building up one or all of those models. All right. Again, thanks for watching. Thumbs up, like, subscribe. See you next time.